our last news round for a bit there, Rancho. They are as me, good old. You're Miss Connie. They. What are you talking about? Uh, anyway, although we're going for a bit, you can still catch us for the next couple of weekends. See? Our best bits. Ah. There'll be all sorts of laughs and hilarious japes. Looks like this. to check that out tomorrow and Sunday. So that's it, we're off then. Now you may be expecting this to, to be a joke and it turns out we're not really leaving, but we are. What? Yeah. No, it's not a hilarious storyline. No, you know that, we're away, we're away for three months. It's all right though, we're coming back on the 1st of December, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. And keep watching the CBC channel in the meantime, there's a new presenter on Monday, so maybe you'll get to find out what's in this box. And, and if you see us as we're filming our show, just give us a little wave. Say hello. Yeah, all right, all right. Oh, taxi's here. Dave. Trying to present television. Yay! Oh, ah. Just a couple of emails before we go. Uh, Emma in Buckinghamshire emailed in say, I'd like to say you're the best CBBC presenters, except for Andy Peters. Wow. It's quite funny. <laughs> quite oh, funny. Hello. Neither of you have changed a bit since your first day. You both look and act exactly the same. Thank you for brightening up my afternoon. <laughs> and Lauren Leeds says, Happy first anniversary and congratulations on your new show. But do you really have to leave? Who's going to distract me from my homework now? <laughs> no, I'm sure we can find someone. Oh, oh, ah! yeah, all right, all right! Uh, dear, oh dear, I'm not tipping him. I've just got to put, put up that before we go. Wouldn't want any accidents while we're away, would we? Oh, wow. Nice. Oh, Good stuff. Well, should we wave goodbye? Oh, day. Bye! 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 <laughs> Some of that was wrong, Ian. It didn't come up quick enough. Good afternoon, everyone. Coming up next is everyone's favourite schoolboy, Hank Zipser. Which can mean only one thing. Charlie Lang. No, no, stop this. Stop this. Shut it down. No, we're not having it, Chris. Do you know what? I'm fed up with this. I'm fed up with you finding one thing funny and just doing it over and over and over and over and over and over again, right? Charlie Long Arms, I admit, was funny for like, I don't know, five minutes or something, but it's not funny anymore. So stop it, all right? Katie, Cut Katie, it out. Katie, shh, 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 sweet Katie. Sweet, gentle Katie. Let me finish, all right? There's more to it this time, I promise. Oh, go on then. It can mean only one thing. Charlie Longarms and his fiendishly long legs. Ooh, look at me legs. Why, Chris? Why? Wh why, Katie? Let me explain. With this simple chart. As you can see, Charlie Longarms relies on his arms, and his arms have what are known as feet of the arms, called hands. The hands of the feet, and the feet at the bottom of the legs. Legs is something that Hank Zipser possesses. Echo, Charlie Longlegs. <laughs> This is absolutely ridiculous, all right? I, I don't want to hear about it anymore, right? I'm sick of you and your fiendishly long limbs. All right, OK, OK, but maybe you'll change your mind after we've done some Irish dancing. Hit it! What? No! <laughs> Why? Why Irish dancing now, Chris? Why Irish dancing? Well, Katie, let me explain. As you can see, legs are required. For dancing. Dancing is, of course, very fun. And fun is what Hank Zips is all about. So when you take it all into account, it's about Charlie Long Legs. Chris, this is ridiculous. It's got absolutely nothing to do with Hank Zipser. But it's fun! Dance with me, Katie! Dance the dance of life! Get you dancing, make it happen, sway your limbs on to and fro. Away we go, and away we go! Da -da 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 -da. Touch your toes, Katie! Touch your toes! Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> 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 <laughs
Talking about an outro, I wonder how they're doing. <laughs> oh, Auntie, there's a message. Dunstan, I'm Holly, not Auntie. All right, let's see. Auntie, you. Auntie. I knew this would happen. I should have made you stay on the van. And what about my ball? It was your fault. It was clearly your fault. <sighs> but, oh, hello, hello, Holly, hello, Dunstan. Oh. Sorry, I'm just a bit angry with Outcho. We've been thrown out of our hotel. Mm. Kept leaving banana skins all over the place and singing Dolly Parton at three o'clock in the morning. Ah. And all the other residents were complaining. Mm. Now we've got to find somewhere else to stay. Oh, eh, eh, don't worry. I'll do it now. Sort it out. The... Where are we going to stay then? Down there. Lossily. Yeah. Lovely. Ladies and gentlemen, gaze your faces upon three of the most beautiful people in show business. Ian Sterling, Hack of the Dog, yes. and look, it's John Archer. Oh, yes. look, it's mush. I mean, it's, a, it's a lovely mush. He's here to celebrate brand new Help My Supply to do is still magic. Still. It's at 6.15 today in the CBBC channel. And John, I believe you're going to do a little trick for us now. I have got a little trick I can show you. Oh. It's a little, a little stunt using a plastic bottle. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. And a oh, straw. And magical music, apparently. Yeah, and magical music. The idea is this is what you've got to do. You've got to challenge people to lift up the bottle using the straw. But you can't touch the bottle with your hands. You can't turn the bottle upside down. None of those sneaky tricks. you just got to lift easy, it up. Go on, then. Put the straw in right and you suck the straw like that. <laughs> Another pressure. That was about... That won't work. That won't work. That was about... Yeah, that was about like, just you're only allowed one. You're only allowed one bottle. You can't one do that, straw. This is impossible. It's impossible. All right. All right. It looks impossible. But watch and be mystified is what you do. Right. You get the straw and you bend it 30% from one end, 60% from the other end. Right. Okay. There's 10% missing somewhere. I don't know where it's gone. And then you put that straw in there like that and it acts like a hook. An ook. An ook. And watch. It ooked it! Away! <laughs> oh, He's made a ook! Fighting gravity! He's yeah. made an ook! He's made an ook! Why don't you guys? He's a witch! Shut I'm not a witch! I'm trying to present now! Yes. Sorry, yeah. Why don't you guys try that at home? Get a bottle. Or if you've got a question for John, email in cbbc at bbc.co.uk. You can ask him anything, anything you want. You might say, what's it like to be a magician? Yes. What's it like to be on television? Did my daughter get engaged today? Yes, she did. Yeah. Why would they ask that? Oh, I'm not wasting my time. I'm going to do a magic now. I'm going to make Tracy be crappier. Go on then. Here's TSOTB. <gasps> do you like bananas? Do you like the world? Then come to Banana World! See bananas. Sniff bananas, touch bananas, but do not eat the bananas. We're not made of money, you know. Banana World is located in my house, my village, off the nearest main road, just off Junction 3 or 4 of the M60 or something. Buy a map, sort it out yourself, I've got things to do. Things with bananas. Children between the ages of 4 and 6 will not be admitted. See you there, banana fan. Welcome back, guys. MI High's up next, but first it's me, it's Hacker and Mr. John Archer. Yeah, you're from again. Help My Supply Team. Hey, it's a bit hacker. <laughs> Look at that. You should condition, that's quite rough. I've got split hands, I can tell. Oh dear. You guys were sending your questions for John, but first, Mr. Archer, you have a magic trick for us to win. I'm going to show you another trick. It's a psychokinetic spoon. Watch the psychokinetic spoon. What you do yeah. is you give it a little rub yeah. with your hands like this, yeah. and then you grab your wrist. And look, it oh. sticks to your hand. You're a witch! I'm not a witch! I'm a magician! <laughs> how do you do it, John? I'm gonna tell you how I do it. <laughs> Here's the secret. What you do is when you rub the spoon and you grab your wrist, yeah. secretly, on the other side, you hold the spoon there with your finger. So it looks like it's stuck, but it's not. I'm aghast! You're not even a witch! I'm I not can a do witch! It. Look, John, I'll do Put it. Put the fire out! Look, no, no! Pretty I wicked. can do it. How can you just holding it? What? Ah, okay. Oh, well, pretty wicked trick there, guys. Oh. The questions you've been sending in are oh, Scarlet. Hello, yes. Scarlet. Scarlet says, where shall I start with magic? Because I want to be a magician. Right, a good place to start with magic is to buy a magic book or a magic set. And there's lots of them. Go out and buy yourself a good magic book or a good magic set. And then try and join a local magic club. Wait. Bad tip. He's not a witch. He's not a witch. Not a witch. <laughs> Casey, hello, Casey. Casey says, how old were you when you first performed magic? Ah, now that's interesting because is I it? didn't start magic till I was 19, which is months ago now. <laughs> uh, I thought you said it was interesting. It is interesting. It is interesting. How old are you? I'm six. In dog years? Yeah. 
<laughs> oh dear. Well, please keep your questions coming in for John at cbbc at bbc.co.uk. Maybe you want to know uh, how you can make your parents disappear, but don't oh. let them know you're going to do it. No. Okay, don't let them know. Uh, we're going to have another magic trick right after MI High, so get ready those objets d'art, which would be? Yes, you need, you need, you need a glass of water and a piece of paper and a pen. Get them ready. It wasn't a crazed Michael Underwood trying to get into the office, but, oh joy of joys, it was Nigel Smith and Captain Crazy. Yo, yo, yo! Oh, oh, oh. It's me, Nigel Smith! When I say Nigel, you say Smith! Nigel! Oh. What are you doing Nig here? Oh. Well, I can't tell what you're mm. calling, can I? Yeah, oh. I seriously doubt you could help. We're looking for old CBBC presenters who can tell us how we can get out of doing the summer afternoons, do the summer mornings instead. They're the only people who can help. Yeah, and you ain't a CBBC presenter, mm. bucko. Yeah. yeah, I am. I mm. present the BBC's flagship children's Saturday show, mm. don't I? Mm. No, you try to, but Ed and Outro always interrupt your transmission, don't they? Uh, mm. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Mm. yeah, well, I'm better than him. And that sparky cucumber mm. put together. Oh, really? And what makes you so great? Boy. With games. Whoa. You've got games! We've got. Do you want to play a game? Let's play a crazy game! Alright, yeah, we'll play, play a game. game. Let's like play games. a game. That's good. good. Oh, um. Let's, let's play the pencil game! You, you've got to drop a pencil and pick it up again! Whoa. Go! Now that, that, that's rough. Crazy! You haven't done catching crazy! Whoa. Whoa. Oh, I dropped it! I've ever seen. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, see if you can do any better. Come on, Captain Crazy, we're leaving! <laughs> so, Captain Crazy, how how are you doing? Whoa. Really? Um, have you have you got any idea how we could uh, get out of doing the summer afternoons? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Make him go away, Jeff. He's scaring me. I'll try reasoning with him. Right. Um, you, you really don't have to stick around, Captain Crazy. You can go if you want. Whoa. Really? That's very interesting. Call cool security, Dan. I'm one step ahead of you, Jeff. <laughs> His sorcerer's apprentice. Whoa. Yeah, it's that pirate again. He's back. What's he yeah, doing? Yeah, can you get rid of him? Whoa. Thank you very much. TSOTB is on the way next. Karim, what's up? Me? I just miss Hacker and Dodge. I miss their cute little faces, the bants. It just doesn't feel the same without them. I mean, the office feels a little... Cleaner. No, I was going to say it feels... More spacious. No, I was going to say it feels a little bit... Uh, quieter. No, can you let me finish? I was going to say, it just doesn't feel the same without them. It's not as manic, not as fun, you know. Oh, we can still have fun without them. I'm not sure. I don't think we can. I think we, uh... We, uh, we, what, what? we can, with the old, I love meat paste and it smell. I, I see what you're trying to do, Carol, but I mean, it's only funny when Hacker does it and he's got his rigging accent. Okay. Oh, no, 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 there's a lot more fun here to be had. Okay, uh, go on. And, ah, I could cover the office in bin juice, because I love it. I know, I'm, I mean, that would be fun if we covered the office in bin juice, it'd be a laugh, but... If Dodger is here, we did it with Dodger. Do you know how much he loves bin juice? And look, I know you're trying to cheer me up and make me happy, but just because I'm missing Hacker and Dodger doesn't mean I want to be like Hacker and Dodger or act like him. I'm glad what? you brought that up, actually. Why? Can you explain this? Ah. Oh, me, please, cockers! Oh, bin juice! Yeah. See, now that I can explain. It was massive audition. You would have, yeah, massive. Here's TSL TV. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you are joined by a double act that peaked roughly two years ago. It's Ian and Agar. <laughs> Welcome to CBBC. We've got some great stuff for you today. We have got brand new Jet Rose Big Event Trip 430. We've also got a brand new series for you, Totally Rubbish, which features. My voice, and up next we have got Pet Squads. All right, all right, we get the general idea. There's loads of great shows coming up. We know that. Now, Ian, please, let's watch part two of Tonju Squad. I've been waiting all day for this. Tonju Squad, I've been waiting for it as well. Here we go. Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> There's an evil tundra in town, cockers! Oh yes, I know, yeah, it is evil. Do you think he likes not big wheat or uh, it's medium wheat? Big wheat is definitely a big wheat fan. Yeah, it strikes me the sort of guy who would like a bit of big wheat. We I love wheat. We I love wheat. Where's me wheat? Wheat! 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 <laughs> oh, look, they like a bit of wheat, don't they? Let's watch my Tanji squad. Let's watch Pet Squad. <laughs> it's on now. We're on the network. <laughs> That was, of course, another fantastic sports round. So, um, what up to this weekend, Dan? Oh, not much, mate. Oh, definitely going to watch Transmission Impossible with Ed and Outcho. Really? How can you even be sure it's going to be on? They're, they're, they're not meant to be there. They just keep interrupting that amazing Captain Crazy, don't yeah, they? I think we both know it's definitely going to be on, Jeff. It's in the listings. Yeah, I actually find that really confusing. Bit. So, uh, what, what, what time's it on? 10am oh, on Saturday. Hey, 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 stop that! Stop plugging that show! I'm sorry, who are you? <laughs> Are you joking, of course? It's me. I'm a living legend. Oh, it's Aunt Valerie, Jeff. Aunt oh, Valerie! No, not your Aunt Valerie. Ted Mitri. Who? The world's greatest TV presenter and human being in general. Yeah, well, whoever you are, you're interrupting us while we're trying to plug, plug Transmission Impossible with Ed and Outcho. What are you trying to do to it? Plug or plug, whichever's better. Yeah, well, if, even if you're trying to plug it or plug it, stop, OK? Just stop doing that. They're messing up Captain Crazy's show. It's not on, and I'm going to put a stop to it. So, um, you thought you'd come in and interrupt us? Well, yeah. I mean, it's OK when I do it. I'm an icon. Ow! You OK? Do, do, you, um, do you not see a little irony there? What's irony? <laughs> what's irony? What's irony? Damn, what's irony? I have no idea what's going on, mate. <laughs> should be me that gets my own Saturday show anyway. Yeah, me. I should be on every show. Not Ed Wee Wee and that big cabbage thing he hangs around with. They're no good. Yeah, well, lo lovely as this has been, I'm going to have to ask you very politely to just leave. Sorry? What was that biscuit muncher? Are you trying to rebuff me? No. Did he call me? Biscuit munchie, you do like biscuits. Yeah, no. yeah, you heard me. Consider yourself well and truly rebuffed. Oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah, t-shirt sealer, yeah, yeah, you like that, yeah? I'm Ted Mitri. I'm the man that every man wants to be, yeah? I'm the man that every woman wants to marry. I'm the man that every child... Shh. High five, Dan. That's some of your best work today. Thank you very much, mate. Um, what are we going to do with it? Oh, well, I'll phone Barry the Badger, see if he fancies a snack. Ah, good idea. You do the dirty work, I'll watch news around. Yeah. Barry, got another one for you. Yeah, comedy hammer. Oh, no, 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 I feel I'm good. That means hello. Well, that... Well, I'm right and through that with me. That means horrible histories is coming up next. I ate too much and it's hard to swallow. Yeah. <laughs> Bit dry, aren't they, then? Yeah. Mm. Hi, everyone. Do you know what? <clears throat> I'm alright now. I could have water, but I've not got any. Anyway, I've just decided to eat all the party food because obviously Dodge isn't showing up. That's a shame, isn't it? Do you know what, mate? Yeah. Don't tell him this. What? But I sort of miss Dodge. Oh. And don't tell him this, Ian, but I've sort of missed him too. I know. Don't tell him this. I won't. But if I saw him in the street, yeah. him, I'd, I'd give him an hug. <gasps> if I saw him in the street, I'd but say. Should I tell him this? Oh, yeah, no, don't tell him this. Oh, okay. I'll just do my bit now. If I saw him in the street, right. I'd say, All right, Dodge, how's it been? It's been lovely while you've been here. Nice to see you again. Think the world of you, but don't tell him that, Ian. And don't tell him this. I won't. But if I saw him, I'd, I'd treat him like royalty. <laughs> yeah, I'm back! <laughs> Where have you been? You're late. Yeah, I had to watch Ian eat all that party food to himself. And you know that really annoying sound he makes when he eats, don't you? That's one. Even his fish sound effects are late. Excuse yeah. me. Did you miss me then? Mate, of course we did. Oh, I look, I see nothing's changed around here. I was worried that you might have replaced me. Replace you? Replace <laughs> him. <laughs> replace Dodge. Oh. What could replace Dodge? <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Oh. Oh. Gavi, Stephen Greenwood, Dodgers replacement from earlier in the year. Oh, hi, mate. Yeah, tell you what, a little trick, you, you, you talk at the next show. Oh, thanks, Ian. How kind. <laughs> it's my great honour to say, here's horrible history. Ah, Steve. Oh, no, it's Dodgers replacement. <laughs> mm. Mm. Hello, you're with Holly Baba Ganoush Walsh. And Dunstan the Brine. Yep, and in a minute we've got a new, 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 new Sarah Jane Adventures, but after three months away, look who it is! It's in an outro! It's us! We're back! And, 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 right, look, it's all been, it's been all go, I tell you. Look, look, we were at the BAFTAs last night. And CBC won Best Children's Channel at the BAFTAS. How cool is that? <laughs> look, look, look at this, look at this, look at this. This is me at the BAFTAS. Right, right, have a look, have a look. I was wearing a tie and everything. Look, this, this is some woman, don't know who she is. Look, oh, it was brilliant. Our oh, moan of glory, it was grace. Oh, I lost all these. I was thinking a table with Jerry Halliwell, you know. Oh? Oh, yes, yes. And a strange friend from LA. Wow. And that's my old boss from Nickelodeon. He, he was really annoyed. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oh, okay. Also, also, look, there's been a little, uh, little change with regards to myself as well. Have you noticed anything? Uh, uh, lipstick. No, I don't wear lipstick. No, another guess. Um, Bogey? No. Oh, no, 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 oh. I've got it, I've got it. Uh, you've had a real horse's face stitched onto your own. Yeah, I like it! Do <laughs> 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 oh, you like him, do you? Oh, he does. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you. The shouting comes as a result of a deep and dark and terrible anger from my desperately unhappy childhood. Yeah. It's uncontrollable! OK, great. Well, uh, oh. now we've got new, 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 new Sarah Jane Adventures. Oh. Yeah, it's new, apparently. That's my line, horse face! Ooh.